Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this exciting episode of my TV show. And today, being Monday, February 21, 2022, it is 8.14 a.m. as I'm recording this. I'm, I'm just seeing this from my, um, uh, this is why I know what time it is. It error every episode. It's on this uh, 1999 microwave oven from Panasonic. The Genius Premier, the inverter system in, inside, whatever. Now, sorry about that. So, as I was saying, today, um, I, the reason I'm filming this episode is because I want to show you that, um, that one, um, food I, I made, uh, which was on the Valentine's Day episode, I did, I mean, special I did very recently, uh, which is the, it's like raspberry gelatin with marshmallow fluff, and today I'm going to show you how to make that, the, how to make the recipe for it. So, so, uh, just uh, hold on a minute and I'll be ready with you in just a minute so I can show you the ingredients and I'll do all the directions, but I'm going to have to do it in parts, so, because I have to work this morning and at night, so I'll show you as much as I can. So, um, I'll be right back. Okay, so here are all the ingredients you're going to need for the raspberry gelatin with marshmallow fluff. First, um, yeah, let me just show you all the ingredients. Um, here are the raspberries, um, which I really like. These, of course, you got to wash the, you know, you know, give them a good rinse, put them in the freezer, and you use, like, I put them in the spa. I know it's a little yucky up a little bit, because I was putting some raspberries in here, the other day I was using it, but, you know, this is, would be, you'll get just two of, of these are about like two cups, roughly, so, you know, just, I will just measure, so it's about four and a half ounces, but it's nine ounces for the whole container Driscoll's, so I just kind of put it into the, you know, the, I just kind of give it a good rinse, and then put it in here, and then and then let it um, freeze for quite a while and I'll show you what to do next okay so now okay let me just put it back here now I, you're also going to need some um, raspberry gelatin which is the um, it's 60 calories 15 grams of protein I've shown you it before it's pretty it's just basically straight up protein it has um, you know, yeah, it's the raspberry flavor gelatin made by a nutritional resource incorporated. This is quite important for this recipe. So, and then we also got some um, casein uh, protein, which is 28 grams. Well, we're gonna need, they're not gonna need the whole thing. Smart 138. This is what you're gonna need for the the marshmallow fluff. This is crucial. And also, um, the other ingredients. This is Nature's Flavor Marshmallow, um, <laughs> flavor powder. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty nice, I think. Uh, I actually, this is one of the five jars of flavors that I bought, which was, I think, in October last year. Sorry about that. You're going to need some egg whites and some unsweetened vanilla almond milk, uh, some salt, yeah, a pinch of salt, xanthan gum. You, you don't need very much. It's very, like, a tiny amount of it, like, barely anything at all because the casein powder, you could actually do this without any xanthan gum whatsoever, but I prefer just to use a tiny bit just to thick it up just a little bit. It's, you know, this goes to show this can be very valuable. Okay, 
and it really is quite valuable. So, and then uh, some vanilla extract, um, and some cream of tartar, which is a stabilizing agent. I mean, I'm sure you know xanthan gum. It's like a thickening agent, which is what a lot of people use, like say with ice cream or something like that. Um, because this, the marshmallow fluff is basically like an ice cream. It's kind of got cool up more or less. And cream of tartar, oh, which is a stabilizing agent. Oh yeah, I, one thing I forgot. A Priva, or any sugar substitute sweetener can do the trick. Or stevia, erythritol, monk fruit. You know, something that should be pretty healthy. Because it's zero calorie and it should be quite good for stomach and our teeth. So, yeah, and those are all the ingredients that you're really going to need. The vanilla is good to have because it keeps, um, it adds a little bit of flavor, but since this adds a little bit, it's kind of a darker color for some weird reason. It says pure vanilla extract. I don't know. But in a pinch of salt is just basically to keep things, just not only to make things a little, the icy, you know, cold, to make it a little colder, but also to make sure to make the, all the flavoring, kind of the taste come together, you know. So anyways, let's get to cooking. Okay, so the first thing that I would do when doing this recipe, even though it may stay otherwise than the recipe that I've written, uh, yeah, let's just first start out by, um, taking care of the, the raspberries. So what you're going to need to do is, you know, rinse them. I mean, and I, I mean, there's no need for me to weigh it out because I already know it weighs nine ounces. Or it's about 250 grams. So it's about 125 grams per cup, base, give or take. So it's about 68 calories. Okay, okay, so now, just gonna add some LC to it, give it a nice rinse here, I don't know, I should put it in a bowl or something, oh, sorry, got a cup of oil, but that's okay. This is just kind of helped out. I bought these from the grocery store yesterday, mind you. So these should be fairly fresh. They just kind of drain out the water. And then I put them in the bag. Might take a little bit of time just for me to do this, because. Yes, I did eat one, but that's okay. I got the vast majority of all the raspberries. Then, you just throw them in the freezer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, and that's it. Now to make the gelatin itself, you know, the raspberry gelatin. So it should be pretty easy to do. I mean, you don't, I don't even need to show you this, but this is what I do. So first you take the raspberry gelatin you just pour in the packet. Making sure you get as much out. And then you should be ready to um, boil some water and I'll show you this. I'm going to use the sauce pad here. Um, but I gotta fill it with water. I need about one and a half cups of water, hot water, and I need another one and a half cups just for the um, cold water. So that'll be three cups, three cups total. You'll get plenty of it. It'll be quite high volume. Trust me. You'll be pleasantly surprised because the packet says you're supposed to put in one cup, but it's gonna be way too thick. So I mean, though it's the sweetest, you get the most flavor out of it. But I want it to be a bit more, like, bigger and more, you know, uh, higher volume, you know? Okay, so, let's get right to adding the water. So, just hold on a second. Okay, now you're going to need one and 
half cups of water. Sorry, I just want to make sure I'm just to see myself. Okay. Yeah, but I gotta really hurry because I have to wait for work it over an hour, so I gotta make sure I fill this recipe. So you take like about one cup and you need another half. I'll just uh, turn up the um, the uh, oven or the stove top uh, to high because we're gonna boil the water. Put the top on. We're ready to start boiling away. Be right back. Now we just gotta wait for the water to boil, but while that's going on, let's just get right to um, making the marshmallow fluff part, or at least the dry ingredients. Uh, let, me, let me show you. Okay, so in this step of the recipe, uh, when making the marshmallow fluff, I just gotta turn on the kitchen scale here. I gotta get a new one. It's looking like it's breaking apart. It's old. <laughs> okay, so let's, um, first I'll add the casing. I was gonna say casing. It's casing. That's how it's pronounced, right? Right. Okay, so I'm gonna put in about, yeah, I'm gonna put in 17 grams. So I gotta kind of weigh it out. Yeah. Oh, I get, mm, darn, I just got a little bit too much in there. 17 grams. Oh, come on. Sorry. Okay, 17 grams. Should be good enough. Now we're going to need, to shake this up a little bit. Uh, the other ingredients that you're going to put in, you don't really need the, the um, kitchen scale anymore because the, because we don't need very much of it for some ingredients. So, this way. okay, so, so then, Oh, I forgot, I am supposed to use the kitchen scale because I got to measure, because there are calories in this, so I have to be careful, so, let's see, uh, this is the marshmallow flavoring, so you're going to take some of this, and I know the water's boiling, but I'll get to it just a, a moment, uh, what did I put up? Oh. So here's the, um, the, um, need about one teaspoon, but you may need to add just a little bit more until you get to around four. Ah, there we go. Four grams. Which would equal 15 calories, which is four grams of sugar, or four carbs, so. We don't need that anymore. I just put that away. Okay, so now... I'll just hold out a second before we get to the rest. I need to take care of the water because it's already boiling. So if you just follow me. Yeah, so the water is boiling. So I'm just going to turn off the... Um, it's really, really hot. Hot, 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 hot. So make sure I'm see what I'm doing here. Okay, that I pour the water in. I put it on a pad, like so. I put it over here. And so let's get stirring. Okay. Good to make sure that you stir it. Now, I'm going to add one and a half more cups of water to be cold. So. Okay. I know you can't really see what I'm doing because I'm trying to get this done as soon as possible because I have to get ready for work in 
over an hour. I'm just, I know it's a bit of ways, but I think it's important that I really focus. So, pour the water in, which is one cup. And then, I know I did goof up a little, but, okay. And now we give it a nice stir again. Yes. Doesn't that look beautiful? It looks like a big, almost makes it look like a big bowl of like, kind of like a small, almost like a bowl of like some cherry soup or something, doesn't it? I mean, it's raspberry gelatin, so. No, we got a little bit of bubbles around here, so. Okay, so let's uh, get right to, um, get, well, yeah, we'll resume to the making the marshmallow fluff, but I have to put this in the fridge, so I'll just show you just a moment. Okay, so I'm just going to put this in. It's a little, you have to be very careful because it's full of three cups of water with the gel. Okay, there. Great. It's in there, so... Okay, so I'm gonna continue making the marshmallow fluff. So here you're gonna need, I just use like a, just wanna make sure I'm seeing myself here. So you're gonna need like a dash of salt. But I didn't put too much in there. Okay, so some cream tartar. We're going to need half a teaspoon. This helps it to rise better. Got like 11 engage it. Okay. Now I'm going to need, um, some xanthan gum. So I have to be very careful when I put this in, just so I don't put too much in. That should be enough. Okay, now for the wonderful yummy part to uh, Add some sugar. Don't worry, it's not sugar, sure, but you know, it's a substitute. So I'm going to put it about one, over one heaping, but you know, it, use as much as you want, zero calories, so. So it's roughly two tablespoons. Now it's time to mix her up with a whisk. I mean, you can use a fork as well, but I, for one thing, it blends better when you use a whisk. Well, that's a definitely an important job that this baby here can serve the whisk. Okay. Now I'm just gonna give her a taste test and see what I think of it. And if it doesn't taste right, you're gonna need to do some adjusting, but it should be fine. Hmm. And it's okay, but but once we do make it, that would be good. So I'll just leave it here for a while and I'll resume doing this recipe once the raspberries are frozen. Then I'll take them out to let them thaw, and also to give it some time because it'll take hours for the not only for the raspberries to freeze, but for the raspberry gelatin to solidify. So that's all good, isn't it? So um, I'll be right back. Um, well, I shouldn't say I'll be right back, but I will return, but 
you know, I have to be going to work in over an hour or so. Um, I'll be back in like hours from now. Probably won't be until around maybe later in the afternoon, early eve, probably in the evening, somewhere in there. Uh, I'll show you. So, so just we're gonna have to wait a little while. So, bye. Hey everyone, I'm back and welcome to part two. I mean, we did part one, which was just for the gelatin and the marshmallow fluffs dry ingredients. Now we're gonna add the wet ingredients. So what you're gonna need is the kitchen scale again. Turn it on and put in. Uh, you're gonna need to put in about 46 grams of egg whites. I hope I get it. In. Oh, I put in 52, but not the end of the world, right? Okay, now reset. So I'm gonna add 150 milligram, 150 milliliters of almond milk. What's great about almond milk is that it's uh, low. It's much lower calorie than say, like your usual cow milk. Um. And now I'm going to add one teaspoon, I guess I don't need to turn that on because the amount of calories you put into the vanilla, it, yeah, I mean the vanilla you, you add it isn't very much. So it, yeah, it does add a little bit of color to it. I don't know why it does, it's probably because it's old, I don't know. Okay. And... Yeah, I, I think this will do nicely. Um, maybe add just a little extra salt here and there. Maybe add the stevia packing in there. So, now it's ready for me to stir. So I really don't really need this anymore. At least for now. Then I just kind of stir it up. This might take a little bit of time. Just hold on. Okay, so I got this all stirred up. You know, make sure it's good to make sure it's all stirred for and before we use the hand mixture here. This 1987 or 86, I mean, this is like 35 years old. It still works like a charm. Just watch this. Okay. So, yeah, we're just going to turn it on. And, oh, yes, I'm wearing my robe, by the way. Um, which I don't really see myself doing, but you kind of see me wearing those just for me to keep myself warm. So, anyways, so I'm going to start and turn it on to stir. <laughs> I just do this like where I just uh, put my hand attached to here. Gotta stir it nice and good. Now what you want to do is at some point uh, turn it up to the mix. Then go from slow, slow and low, and then medium, medium, then to high and fast. See how it's just looking a little bit more like uh, it's kind of really foamy. Now I just put it onto the wet. And make sure you don't go too fast, otherwise it's flattered all over the place. So anyway, this might take a little bit of time for me to do this, so. I think we're done. We gotta just pull it. Great, huh? Mmm. Mmm. Now, 
observe everyone. See? Oh! Go! Oh! I'm sorry. I'm awfully sorry. This I did not mean this to happen. I spilled a lot of it, which was on the floor, but I cleaned it up. So, unfortunately, I didn't get as much as I really wanted. At least I saved some. I know this might sound kind of disgusting, I know, but I took as much off of the foam that was on the floor, as long as it wasn't totally like touching the sur like the floor surface, you know? You know, I got as much as I could get. So, um, yeah. And I was going to freeze this, but because of the mess I made, I had, you know, I'm afraid I can't do it. But, um, just hold on a second. Let me just show you the next steps of what you need to do. Although I can't freeze it in this, in this, uh, recipe, which, I mean, I will, I mean, I'll, sh I'll show you, um, the instructions and the ingredients directions, you know, the whole recipe and writing once I'm done with this, um, so let's just, uh, I'll be right there, I just have to change the calories a bit, about 200. So I'll be right back. Okay, so what you do now is, I was supposed to thaw these before I actually got to, you know, making the, this, but, okay. So I'm just gonna crush this raspberry. Yeah, I'm getting little holes in it, unfortunately. Okay. Now, I'm going to measure the um, raspberries at around about half the quantity, which is about 125 grams. Oh, it's 134. That should be nicely, wouldn't it? Oh. I was supposed to put the gelatin I was supposed to put the gelatin in before, uh, what? So, yeah, so you just take your spoon, kind of cut it in the center. So hopefully I don't make another mess here. better now. And you just stir it up. Just fold it in as much as you can.
And there you have it. You can sweeten as much as you like. You can top it with whatever you like, but beware of any extra calories. So I know it doesn't look as good as the one I did before, but with the magic of television, there. Now doesn't that look much better? Enjoy your masterpiece, folks. Raspberry gelatin with marshmallow fluff. Well, that's it for this episode today. Um, for the recipe I did, which is the raspberry gelatin with marshmallow fluff. Um, to tell you the truth, yes, I did make a bit of a mess, but I, I ate it all up, and I feel great. I actually, you know, more I think about it, I think that the less, uh, like less of the protein fluff, I think actually kind of improved it even more when I froze the raspberries and then I put it with the refrigerated, you know, already cold um, and firmed up, um, uh, what do you call it, the <laughs> raspberry gelatin. It actually, I like, I feel that it sort of improved the, it, so it sort of made up for uh, that mess I made. So. I'm pretty lucky today. So, um, other than that, um, I can't wait to make some more episodes and, you know, do my show more regularly. I'll probably do about uh, maybe a couple more episodes, at least for the season. I mean, I'm going to do a St. Patrick's Day special um, less than a month from now, which should be exciting to celebrate my Irish heritage. <laughs> that should be fun. Uh, because I'm of Irish descent, partly, um, anyway, so I hope that you, uh, have a good day, and, uh, thanks for watching this episode, and since it's on YouTube, you know, on the internet, please rate, comment, and subscribe, that would be really awesome, so, uh, you know, thanks for watching, bye, see you in the next episode.